Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to, I get asked a lot about books and I talk about them a lot because I wanted to show you, now I got this for, it says $5.99, but I got it at a dollar, uh, for a dollar at a uh, store that was going out of business. And it just happens to say your man is wonderful, but it can be any book. You can go to the uh, dollar store and buy, they have a lot of, uh, religious based books there. Um, but anything works, even if you don't, you might love the religious based books, but anything works. And what I'm going to show you is a very quick and easy, I'm just going to pick a page and I'm going to rip it out. And what this is going to become is our, um, piece of paper that we're going to do our art on. So that's that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw on this. This is my background. So essentially what I did was if I was going to do a background like this, I would have painted it a background. I would have, uh, you know, added colors or whatever. And now I'm going to add a drawing. Um, I'm not going to just so it, I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm going to take my, uh, pencil and I'm using a pencil just so I can sketch, uh, you know, ske sketch it a little bit and then, um, we'll get to coloring it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with an eyebrow and I'm going to bring it down the base of the nose and give her her nose like that. You see very, very simple. And then I'm going to do the lips. And I just kind of wing the lips. As you can see, very simple, very basic, not going to be anything, you know, fantastical. And is that a word? I don't even know. I'm going to start with the chin there because I want the chin closer to the lips. And this is going to be the eye, but I'm going to, or the eyebrow rather, but I'm going to draw an eye right here. Very simple. And then over here, do an eye. You can see very, and I don't care, you know, I'm using, I'm using, uh, just a regular pencil. But you can use your marker. You can use a colored pencil. Now you can see here that my eyes are a bit off. I don't really dig that. I want it to be a little bit more uh, on. So I'm going to take this one and erase it. And you want to be careful when you're using older book text uh, or music or whatever you're using when you're erasing so you don't put a hole in it. But because I like where this eye is better, um, I want them to be somewhat the same. So I'm going to mark it like the bottom of this, just give it a little mark. So I kind of know where to go. And then I will do my eye like that. So it's a little more, you can see it's a little bit more in space in the place. So here's my, um, chin and I'm going to start the eye right at the end of the face. And going to just bring it down, not worrying about how accurate it is as far as how round, because really this is going to be a, uh, you know, a folk, folky face that we're going to do on here and the eyebrow and a little bit more like that. And I will do a neck and Mm, kind of hair I want to do. Her face is long. I don't care. It's just the point of having fun and doing it and not get, you see, it took two minutes to draw that. It's about just doing it and having fun. Um, the hair, maybe I'll put the part here and then kind of bring it that way and then bring it that way. Nothing too much. And then we'll just kind of put that over there. So we kind of have an idea, you know, the hair will be of course fuller over here because that's the way, is that too full? It very well could be. So I'm going to take that off because I can see right now, I don't want to line that or ink it as they say. 
now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Sharpie. Now you, you, you did not gesso it or anything like that. So you know when you use your Sharpie or your black pen, it could possibly bleed and run. I don't really care. Um, you can use your, what do you call it? Your um, colored pencils if you want, your watercolor pencils, whatever you have. Uh, you can also use your Faber Castell. Maybe I'll use that because it's a thinner tip. Now you can get your Sharpies with thin, <coughs> excuse me, with fine point tips as well. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to kind of give it a trace. I'm not going to worry that it's exactly where my pencils are, you know, my pencil is, but I'm just going to do my thing. Okay. So I know I want her heart to be there. I'm going to do the face. I mean, very simple. We're not, we're not doing anything too, too uh, crazy here. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I do. So we have the face. I have where I want the part. Um, the hair, I think I might erase until I'm done, but let me erase that so I can show you the next thing I like to do with this when I'm doing pages. I haven't done these in a while on camera, on video, but I like to show you guys, especially because you have a lot, we have a lot of beginners here with me, that you don't have to go out and buy even though you can go to AC Moore and Michaels really for a mixed media pad they have for five bucks now. And I will be doing a beginner um, giveaway of a mixed media book and, and stuff like that. But anyway, that's not right to second. But you can definitely use if you have old books in your house or kids' books that they don't read anymore. I always suggest for you guys to take them to, you know, uh, Lady of, uh, what's it called? Uh, St. Vincent, Saint Vince de Paul or Goodwill or your thrift stores and give them to your libraries because, you know, I love for kids to read. I don't like ruining books, but this I'm recycling. And that's essentially what you're going to do. So if you have some kid books or whatever, especially books, I have a few books that I have still from when my kids were little that I loved and that I won't ruin, you know, or I won't recycle. I should say not ruin because I'm not ruining. I'm recycling them. Um, you know, so I won't use those, but there are other ones that, you know, I will. And this, like I said, I got it for a dollar at the bookstore and your library also sells these or gives them away free. Some, some, uh, thrift stores do as well. You'll walk in and they'll have a free shelf and there's books, grab them, you know, it's good. So you can see we have that. So now I'm going to, I'm going to paint, um, I'm going to paint her on there. Let me find my face paint. I'm just going to use my go-to uh, Santa's flush color, but any flush color that you have will work. And I'm going to use this as my palette just a little bit. And, oh, my stomach just growled. I'm going to use my brush and I'm just going in. I put it on both sides and I'm going in. Now, what I like about this is, now if you're using a Sharpie, or an alcohol ink marker, or a Faber Castell or a Bic, uh, they dry permanent, so they won't run. Um, and you can also draw over it. So I'm not going to worry too much if I go over all the lines because um, I can just, you know, go over it. Now you can see I wrote, I, I uh, wiped that and it ran a little bit. The reason that it ran is because I did not put my heat gun and dry the ink. What happens is yes, it's permanent, but because this is a uh, thicker, maybe a thicker paper than printer paper or whatever, it has to dry all the way through. So give it an extra second or hit it with your heat gun um, just so it's all the way dry. I don't care. Um, I just think it adds, it, it like talks to me and adds more I don't know, dimension, more shadow, more shading, you know, whatever you have. I don't worry about it too much. I don't think you should. I think you should just have fun because when, you know, it talks to you as you do it, it speaks to you. Now I know, oh, it's a little smudgy there. You know what I mean? Like, what can I do to enhance that? What can I do to, for it to work with me? If it does bother you, 
let it dry all the way, hit it with your heat gun hair dryer, uh, and then you can go over and clean that up after it's dry. But honestly, we're just playing, you know, and I just want to give you guys something, uh, something about going and recycling a book, let's say magazine too. And I'm going to show all those that's all coming out in the, uh, art journaling videos but ways that you can recycle things around your home to paint and do all that. A lot of fun. So, okay. Okay, I need a little more paint. I'll just take it straight from the lid. That's how I like to paint. I like to shake it and then I like to just dip in as my palette for the most part, because this will come, as you can see, it dries and, I make it very messy and I'm not the cleanest. Uh, I think that's one of the most um, uh, nasty emails I get <clears throat> is that, uh, or mess, uh, comments that I get is that I'm messy, that my thing down here is messy. And I'm like, I'm doing art. I'm not worried about if it looks clean to you. <laughs> you know, I do clean it. I use, I told you my, um, I did a video on the, Mr. Clean Magic Sponge thing, and that cleans these off wonderful, but I just don't take the time to sit down and clean it all the time. It'll get on my nerves and then I'll do it, which once I get everything put where I want it, um, you know, I'll clean it. But I paint, I love it too much. All right, so now we wanna decide, do we want the eyes to be open or closed? I think, um, I think I might keep them closed this time. I don't know. Do I want them opened? Hmm. I might close them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of go over this nose a little bit more. I'm just going in here. I'm going to put the color right on the eyelids as well. But I'll leave the lips bare because I'm going to use a color there. I want that to be the color. All right, and you can see my brush has a little bit of paint on it, so I'm just gonna kind of go over everything to make sure I got it. Very simple, look at that. It's a couple minutes and we got that painted. Now you can take, let me see, where's my favorite camel color? I bet you it's over there. I don't have it here. There's no camel color here. Woo! Are you my camel? Okay. This is my Bambi Brown. I'm sorry, not camel, Bambi Brown. And we're going to open Bambi Brown. And I, and the only reason I'm not going to do the lip shadow is because I'm not cleaning my brush. I don't want water on it if I can help it. If you have to rinse your wa your brush, by all means do it. But draw your brush off, you know, with a paper towel before you um, go on here. Just because the paper, it's already going to buckle just a little bit. I mean, we're not doing, you know, freaking uh, masterpiece art here. Uh, so it buckles, it's okay. Um but, you know, I don't like to add extra water if I don't have to, because I'm going to have to rinse probably soon, but right now I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm using, essentially, it's a tan brown. It's called Bambi Brown, but there are, there's a color called Camel that I love that I have around here somewhere. But for this, I'm just going in and I'm going to do the eyelids here and I'm going to take it a bit over. But use brown, use whatever you have. Yeah. Don't do that. Okay. Now what I want to do is take more of a little bit more of my skin color. Now you can see it's dried out on there. So I'll just grab a little bit more from the lid. And I'm just going to kind of rub it in the center here just a little bit. I did not wipe my brush off, but you see how it just lightens it just a little bit and you can lighten it. I mean, if you have white, use white. And then see how the outside's a little darker. Again, we can outline that, no big deal. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit more of that darker shade. And I'm gonna come down here. 
And you can use a pen, you don't have to use this. Oh, my stomach just growled, I don't know if you heard that. And that's all I'm gonna do there. And I know I'm gonna be coloring this in, but I'm just gonna kinda clean off my brush here a little bit, because I'm gonna do a red or something here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into those eyebrows. And what happens is the brown, the darker brown becomes my black that I drew. Do you have to do that? No, you don't have to do that. That's how I'm doing. You can leave them black, go over it with black paint or your marker again, um, which I might do on other things. I'm gonna add a little shadow down here under the neck and you can see how it blends real nice because you get an extra, you know, I'm not drawing it with my gun, so you get a little, uh, little second more before everything kind of dries. You know, it just adds that shading in. Oh, there goes my dogs, I'm sorry. Okay. So we have that. Now let's do her lips. And now I'm going to wash my brush off. But for her lips, I might use a paint pen. And this is the Poster Paint Sharpie Red Pen. Let's see if it still works. I'm testing all my stuff out. But of course, use, use a red marker, use a red paint, use whatever you have. Or if you don't have anything or you want to keep it nude, do the same thing that we did with the eyes. Okay, just like that, you see nothing, nothing too fancy. We're just giving her, you know, giving her long lips and then I'm going to pick hair. So what color hair do we want to do? <laughs> maybe we'll just stick, maybe we'll do... Hmm, why don't we just stick with the brown? Let's stick with the brown color. I might just stick with that kind of tonage here. And I'm gonna use a bigger brush, I'm gonna clean it out, I'm gonna dry it. And I'm sticking my brush in. And I think I'm just gonna kinda of go for it. This might be too big of a brush, Cal. Yeah, might be too big of a brush, but it's all right. I'm just going for it. It's what you got to do. Okay. Now I'll put like some lines in here so it kind of... Uh, you know looks more like hair, but I can always go over it with another color if I'm not digging it, right? So, I'm just, do you see how I'm doing? We're just playing, we're not, we're not worrying. Okay, now I'm gonna just kind of clean off my brush here a little bit. Okay. So we have that. So now, again, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I am, though, however, going to take some blue. A little bit of blue. And I, I'm just trying something. I don't know if I'm going to dig it or not. Let's see. I'm going to dry off my brush. I'm going to take some blue, and I'm going to put it on the outside here. As, e, uh, as the base kind of thing. But I'll tell you what I'm what I'm going to end up doing with this in one second. That's kind of like the background. Now you could, you know, you don't have to do this because we're going to probably be cutting it off. But I wanted to see because I like blue and brown together. It adds a little bit of punch there, right? Like if I did some here because I did this too big and brown.
You see how it kind of kind of makes that a little more, uh, I don't know how you say, just makes the hair look more formed, you know, very cool. No big deal. Okay. It's kind of what I wanted to do. All right. So we see this now, here's the thing. I'm going to hit it with my heat gun for a second. Now the paint will dry quicker than the marker. But I can feel the paper is damp. So what I like to do is I'll blow the one, I'll blow the one side. I will turn it and do underneath. What you can also do with your ink, it could be either way. Okay. Now, what did I do? Put I must have done something with that. The heck. Dave, do you want to let Spyro out? Sorry, guys. All right, so you can see I still have the line in the face. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to decide because this can go on our next journal page. I'm still recording. So this can go on our next journal page. But what I want to do is I want to play with it for a second. So I'm going to take some marker. You can use colored pencil. You can use whatever you want. And I think I'm going to go in and outline. So what I'm going to do is, now you don't have to, and this could be a very crappy thing that it ends up being, but I don't care. It's an art journal page in a sense. Okay. I'm just going to go back and line it. I just like that look, but not everybody does. And I think, hey, it's okay. I like the shadow underneath that the brown brings because it's just a little shadow. You know what I mean? And um, I like that. So then I'm going to kind of go in with the hair. Soften it up a little bit. You see how I did the, uh, you know, a little hoop. And then we're going to kind of go down. And then just trace our outside again. Very simple, nothing major, but you don't have to do it if you don't want. And then that is that on here. So the next journal page we do, we'll cut her out and she will be our main thing for the journal page. And you can see, you see all that through there, but look how great it looks. Just very simple, very easy, and I love it. So that is what we're going to do today. And like I said, one of the journal pages we do for the beginner journals, I'll be using her as our main piece. So don't always think that you have to have all kinds of stuff. We use the book page and some paint. And if you don't have paint, use crayons. I've done it. A lot of people have done it and it's completely acceptable. So let me know what you guys think of this. And if you want to do this along with me on the next art journal page that we do, then, um, please draw it. Let me see it. Tag me with it on Facebook. Send it to me on my email, on my Google, um, where else? On the Twitter. Uh, put your link down below for it. Uh, whatever. I love seeing what you guys do. So as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much, and I'm so very blessed. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye, guys.